Hey and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to compare the UV5R to the UV17R and I found some things doing this comparison that surprised me quite a bit. The UV5R is Baofeng's most common model. It's their cheapest and most rated model on Amazon. However, the UV17R claims to be an upgrade of the UV5R. Although it does look better and come with extra features, I'm personally not sold on it being better than the UV5R. They are both 5 watt radios uh, and are both dual band. The UV17R does come with an upgraded antenna as composed to the regular rubber duck antenna that comes with the UV5R. However, I do recommend changing both of them regardless of which one you get with a good Nagoya antenna. Both of these radios are very cheap. Uh, currently today, when I purchased this radio, it was $17 on Amazon and the UV17R was listed as $25 on Amazon. One of the cool features of this radio is the wireless frequency copy. I did struggle with it a little bit and wasn't 100% sure how it worked, but I'm probably not gonna keep this radio anyway considering the issues I had later on. So I didn't bother to learn a ton about it. Both radios does feature a flashlight the UV5R has one LED and the UV17R has two, uh, neither of which are actually very bright, but I will say there has been several times that I've actually used the flashlight because I didn't have anything else on me. Although I don't think it's a great feature, I do think it's handy, especially in an emergency if all you have time to grab is your radio. One cool thing that does come standard with the UV17R is USB-C charging. So on the back right here, it has a USB-C port where you can charge your radio, where you can charge your battery just using a regular USB-C charger. This can come in handy, especially if you have a portable battery backup, such as the Anchor portable charger, or if you just don't feel like packing your dock that comes with your radio. I did a lot of testing um, with between these two radios, and honestly, the I was very shocked, but the UV5R received much better than the UV17R despite it being an upgraded radio. I have a spot on my property where I can just barely reach some APRS digipeters. So I use that for testing a lot of times when I'm trying to test receive signal because I know that some radios will receive and some radios won't better than others. But when I tested these two radios, the UV5R actually received the UV17R. I couldn't even hear the APRS packets coming through at all, even by my ear. I, I tested with different antennas. I, I used the same antenna on each. I used the stock antenna on from the UV17R on the UV5R, and it did not make any difference as far as getting the UV17R to function. I can receive signals that are very close, but those signals didn't come through at all on the UV17R despite it being upgraded. I'm gonna stick with the UV5R when it comes to keeping a cheap radio on me because the UV17R wouldn't even receive the signal. If you're talking close quarters and things like that, that wouldn't matter. But to me, being able to receive from a little bit farther does make a huge difference. Another thing I noticed, and I don't think I'll ever be able to show it, is there's a spec in my display screen a speck of dirt and there's no way to get it out it is actually between the layers and it came that way although i know this video is about the uv5r and uv17r i will say the uv5x3 made by btech is actually a much better radio when it comes to receive um, regardless of which antenna that i actually do put on the radio i do receive way more packets with this radio than I do with the UV5R. I do recommend that if you can spend just a little bit extra to go ahead and purchase the, the UV5X3. I've made several videos about it in the past about being able to purchase accessories for your UV5R. Um, you can actually get this battery pack that has a USB-C charger on the bottom and this can actually function as far as USB-C charging just like the UV17R. So if you're wanting to purchase a USB-C chargeable radio, you don't have to stick with something that doesn't receive very well. You can stick with something that you know and already works and you can just put, and that functionality is built right into the battery. One other thing that I noticed that bothered me about the UV17R 
is the batteries are way different and the docking station is way different. So they're not interchangeable with these two radios. Like I'm accustomed to be able to just take any Baofeng radio and use the same battery, the same clip and those kind of things. To me that was another major drawback because I have several accessories that I've purchased for my Baofeng radios to make them last longer or receive better. And if it's not interchangeable, then I would have to buy those accessories for that radio as well. And I'm not super happy about having to do that because I like where I can just grab a radio and pop a part on it without having to worry. So if it was me, I would definitely try to spend the extra on the UV5X3 uh, made by BTEC. And that way you get a better receive, a better send, and it's still pretty close within the price point. But if that's not an option, I would definitely recommend the UV5R over the UV17R. Uh, at least that's with my experience. I hope this helps you and let me know if you've tried different Baofeng radios and found the same thing where they appear to be upgraded but they're actually a downgrade when it comes to using them.